Next, I'd like to express Newton's second law in a slightly different form. We introduced Newton's second law to say that the acceleration of an object was equal to the net force acting on it divided by its mass. It turns out that's not the way of stating Newton's second law that was preferred by Isaac Newton. In fact, when you take relativity into account, that's not quite true. At relativistic speeds, the force acting on an object does not equal its mass times its acceleration. But there is a form of Newton's second law which is true under all conditions, including relativistic speeds. First we'll show for ordinary speeds and ordinary kinematics that we're familiar with. It'll be an equivalent definition to what we have. Here's our initial statement of Newton's second law. An object's acceleration is equal to its net force divided by its mass. Quick transformation to give the usual way that we see Newton's second law. Net force is mass times acceleration. Then we'll break down the acceleration into its definition, the change in velocity with time. I'm going to regroup this. Mass times the change in velocity is the same thing as the change in mass times velocity. Mass times velocity is momentum. So what we're really saying is the net force acting on an object is equal to the change in momentum divided by the change in time. That's saying that force is the rate of change of momentum. This was Isaac Newton's preferred way of stating his second law. And it also turns out to be a rigorously true expression of Newton's second law, even under relativistic conditions, 